हे एवरी वन हेर एम डूइंग एक्सरसाइज एट पॉइंट थ्री सेवंथ क्वेश्चन चैप्टर इज जैसे ऑफ क्लास सिक्स दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन न्यू सिलेबस क्वेश्चन इज रवि परचेज फाइव के जी फोर हंड्रेड ग्राम राइस टू के जी ट्वेंटी ग्राम शुगर टेन के जी एट फिफ्टी ग्राम फ्लोर फाइन द टोटल वेट ऑफ इज परचेसेस सो रवि परचेज फ्यू आइटम्स वन इज राइस विच इज फाइव के जी फोर हंड्रेड ग्राम्स ही परचेज शुगर विच इज टू के जी ट्वेंटी ग्राम्स एंड ही परचेज फ्लो विच इज टेन के जी एंड एट फिफ्टी ग्राम्स वॉट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द टोटल वेट टोटल वेट मीन्स वी हैव टू आर्ड ऑल दिस वैल्यूज सो लेट्स आइड ऑन वॉट वी नो फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन सो वेट ऑफ राइस इज फाइव के जी एंड फोर हंड्रेड ग्राम्स so we're going to convert this 400 into kilo because we want everything into kilo kg so when you convert this grams into kg we're going to divide this when you converting a smaller unit to higher unit we always divide so with what number you should divide so we know that 1 kg is equal to 1000 gram so we have to divide this with 1000 so 400 divided by 1000 So I hope you all learned this in your lower classes, fourth and fifth class. That when you convert this, like if you have a ten hundred thousand, ten thousand, one lakh, those kind of numbers in the denominator, we have to just count number of zeros. So right now we have a three zeros in denominator. So after three digits from the right side, remember from the right side you have to place decimal. So it will be zero, then zero, and then we have a four, and then we have a decimal. So after three digit, I'm placing decimal from right side, and then zero. So zero point four zero zero. So five kg. Plus zero point four zero zero kg is equal to five point four kg. Five point four zero zero kg, or you can just simply write down five point four kg. Similarly, the second number we have a two kg and twenty grams. So we have to convert this twenty grams into kg again. So divide this twenty by thousand. So we have three zeros in denominator. So after three digits, so two zero. Then two, then zero, then decimal, and then zero. So zero point zero two zero. So it will be two point zero two zero kg. The next one is a uh, ten kg. Weight of flour is ten kg, and eight fifty grams. So convert this eight fifty grams into kilo. So eight fifty divided by thousand. So from right side, so it will zero five. Eight place decimal and then zero, so zero point eight five zero. So when you add this with ten, it will be ten point eight five zero kg. Now add all these values. So when you adding the decimals, I'm gonna use a lining up method where I'm gonna line up the decimals. So first number is five point four, right? Second number is so before I add this, I'm gonna put decimal. Now look here, we have two point zero two zero on the left side. That is a whole number. It is two. On the right side we have zero two zero, so zero two zero. So on the above, like along with the four, the, you can see a blank space. You can leave the blank space like that, or if you want to avoid confusion, you can just place zeros. The next one is ten point eight five zero. Place a decimal. On the left side we have ten, so it is zero and then one. On the right side we have eight fifty. So write down eight fifty. Now once you've done this, just add it up. So when you add zeros, you'll get zero. Five plus two is seven. Eight plus four is twelve. Um, so two, and then one will be carry. Now add this. Five plus two is seven. Seven plus one is eight, and then we have one. So eighteen point two seven zero. So eighteen point two seven zero kg is a total weight of his purchases. So that's it. I hope this question is clear. In case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. I'll try to make a video on it. Thank you so much for watching.